What's up, y'all? We back, man. Your boy laid back trucker seven. We back. I'll give you another one, man. Before I call it a night. Let's do us a short haul. That's what we gonna do. So let's check the load board right quick. Man, that's a wall. Look at this load right here. Good Lord almighty. A hundred and sixty one plus thousand dollars. But we ain't gonna do that. We're in Fort Collins, Colorado. Let's see. I was eyeing this load here. As well as this one. Which I probably wanna do. Probably this one. The road ain't so curvy like that, which I mean I make I bet this will make for some good good nice scenery because look at that i'm pretty sure that's going all through the mountains of colorado but you know what let's just do this one right here we're gonna take this one ups load the load is 43 plus thousand pounds a load of sugar let's take this load of sugar right quick and uh haul on down there to albuquerque new mexico to the big city and should be able to get some way better freight. As y'all see, the lights was on the uh, four-way flashers. Because, shoot, I just delivered over here in the last stream. And I'm sorry about y'all's eardrums in the last stream. Because that was loud. <laughs> I am sorry. I did not know that this truck was that loud so forgive me especially on the inside the truck it was very loud so uh, real quick I'll let y'all know matter of fact the specs of the truck once we get over to where we got to pick up let's get over there real quick so that uh, our load doesn't disappear ease up out of this ranch right quick. We dropped off a load of uh, fertilizer, about 30,000 pounds, a little over that, but it's all good. We got in there quite nicely. This inside of this truck price still loud. Man, man, we are speeding too. Look at it. Shoot, let's drop it down a little bit here. I'm glad I moved over because I didn't know he was going to make a right hand turn in front of us. But we also was catching them too, so I'm glad I didn't run them over either. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. You know how you have a beat in your head, you know what I'm saying? You just be like, out of nowhere, ain't even on music. Okay. They probably all gonna make a right hand turn. Maybe not. Oh, he would show up right now. I was going to move over and get on the side of him. So I just want to make a correction right quick. We have, uh, from the last stream, I was telling y'all what traffic mods we had in the game. Well, I took the bus traffic mod out. Uh, that was by Jazzy Cat. And the rest of the traffic mods are by Jazzy Cat. You can get that off of AT, uh, ATSmods.lt. And one of the mods you see, besides the custom 
Hold up, let me get rid of that mirror. Boom. It's custom uh, trucks. So some of the trucks we see right there are going to have chicken lights on them and nice bumper and all that stuff. So we're not the only ones riding around custom, but then the traffic itself, like you see some brand new cars in here, you know, that you wouldn't normally see. Like you see the Jeep truck over there at the light. Um, looks like a little Ford vehicle or some sort in front of us. But yeah, you know, look at old Oldsmobile crossing the intersection there. Uh, we also have a classic car. We have tuned trucks. Um, we have um, also, what else we had? Like I said, we took the bus mod, uh, bus traffic out. We have motorcycle traffic. And uh, I do believe I said classic car, but classic car traffic as well. All by Jassy Cat. You can get that on ATSmods.lt. And you can also get this truck right there here that I'm driving on there too. It's all free. You know what I'm saying? This is a Freightliner Cascadia. It is a big sleeper or you know what I'm saying? Stretched out frame, whatever you want to call it, but it's definitely got a big sleeper on it. And all this this mod is is that you add this extra big sleeper option to the sleeper options you already get with the Freightliner Cascadia. And that's it. Um, with that, you get these chicken lights. You can get that uh, roof spoiler up there. That's chrome that you see. The roof AC unit. And um, yeah, it's a really nice truck. It does have a bunch of chicken lights over it. Or all over it. <laughs> the roof spoiler. The roof AC, which I already just covered, but it also has the uh, quarter fenders over the rear tires that's painted and chrome. And then we have the painted uh, sun visor, but I mean, you can't really see it. But very beautiful truck. Very awesome to drive if you like, you know, a little bit of a challenge in the game where you're not rolling around on regular sleeper type trucks. You can get this big old stretched out one right here. Somebody came out with an international Lone Star uh, big sleeper version, as well as the uh, Western Star. So, I mean, you can, you can chase those down. I don't know exactly where those are, so can't tell you. But we're about to pull here into the UPS. And it looks like they have a automatic gate. So let's see. Yep, automatic gate. Sorry, dude, I had to wait until they opened the gate, man. Let's pull up a little bit more so that you can go by if you wanted to. And let's see, let's see if they got our load. Yes, they still have it. Boom, right there. So let's take it. And let's go find it. Oh, it's actually right here. It's right here to our left. Nice. Four way flashes. Got chicken lights on the trailer too. Uh -huh. It's a reefer too, y'all. So, I mean, you wouldn't ha need a reefer for sugar, but a reefer trailer, a refrigerated trailer, they call it reefer for short. It's just a trailer that is a refrigerated action type trailer. Keep like, you know, you know meat or ice cream, whatever like that, cold. And yeah, so let's ease out of here. As you can see, we are very long. So, with this 53-foot trailer, we're going to have to make sure we clear that gate, which we will. No traffic coming. Let's just ease out of here and go. Let's get those side mirrors back. Now we can see 
merge over here. So we need this right lane up here to make a right hand. But yeah, man, just another stream for you right quick. Yeah. Oh, it's not even a actual, well, it's a turn, but not like a turn on another street. It's just a windy street. All right. So it looks like I'm going to need the left lane because I got to make a left turn. So look at this car get by. All yeah, right. There we go. Nice transition through the neighborhood here. Oh, something happened here? Oh, they must have hit each other or something. Y'all was out here acting up. Okay, I don't know why he's stopping way back there, though. He is tripping. Look at that. Four ways off for no reason. But anyway, we make it a left-hand turn. Move up here. Hey, look, man. Happy early Thanksgiving. You feel me? <laughs> Pray y'all uh, have a blessed holiday. You know? Pray God bless y'all to actually... You know, enjoy the holidays like that with your family and people that's closest to you. Mine, Lord willing, is going to be, look at the IHOP. Ooh. Uh, it's going to be, you know, really light, man. We ain't going to do much. We ain't even going to travel, too. And it's just fine by me because I'm usually the one who always got to drive. So it is what it is. Mm -hmm. We're getting on through, y'all. We are getting on through. I'm going to let those mirrors go for a second so we can get a better look at the city. So we power on through here. Now, it is dark in real life for me. I'm in central uh america here central uh united states so of course uh that's a cool duck and donut sign that was dope but uh get some high beams on ats it get dark but anyway what i was trying to say is it's dark on the game and it's dark in real life the traffic we're good to get on over we'll take that middle lane we throw those uh, back on yeah all right y'all we're on our way man we got just a little over 400 and a half miles to go till we get to Albuquerque New Mexico it's roughly around 11 o'clock at night on the game here and shoot we're going to cruise our behinds on down there. What do you say? Go ahead and get that cruise set where I want it. And let the truck do the rest. But real quick, question for y'all. Question for you. Do y'all live with people that like the AC really, really cold? As you can see, I got a jacket on. Like, why do you need a jacket on in your own house? You know what I'm saying? Shoot. Do you live with some polar bears, some some Arctic foxes, some Eskimos? Because I do. Y'all put that in the comments, man. For real. We out. Woo. I can hear a helicopter. I know they ain't coming for us. It's like he's right over us. Can't see him. But anyway, definitely live with some people who like it freezy. Like you feel like a popsicle for real. Let me go ahead and tell y'all what God's word says for your life. 
you can do all things, all things through Christ Jesus that strengthens you. Oh, let's slow it down. All right, we're gonna take this lane. Man is towing a, a bobcat. Some construction equipment. Ooh, look at that. That stadium though. That's beautiful. That's supposed to be uh, the Broncos Stadium right there, Denver Broncos, and it pretty much looks just like that. <laughs> For licensing purposes, they can't put the actual Denver Broncos name on it, but I say they're pretty close with it on terms of design. Yo, Brett. Move out the way, player. They're just right there. They don't take off ballings now. Speed limit just changed. I was hugging that white line. I would have slowed down too. <laughs> oh man. I'm trying to get y'all some views here. Hold on a second, y'all. Let's see. That that inside of that truck noise may be too loud. Let's just see real quick. Let me see if I can adjust it here. Anyway, we're just gonna turn just here. Go down some more. Go down some more. There. Oh, this should be good. Let's go. Just over three hundred and a half miles to go. We are doing quite well. The saying we're gonna get there about six thirty in the morning. But I would thought we'd get there a little sooner. Either way we rolling, you know what I'm saying? We getting it done, you know? So for real. I'm the one up in here looking like an Eskimo, shoot. Well, I got the jacket on, everything, So Let's see how it is on the inside of the truck. Well, it's still kind of loud. I think it's just this truck. Well, we got a ticket. <laughs> but I think it's just this truck. It's just a loud truck on the inside, but... For the most part, the outside is not as loud, like compared to, you know, I know y'all know the W9 Kenworth on this game, it's like the loud truck to get, you know what I'm saying, without doing any mods whatsoever. But, uh, I got another truck for y'all, stay tuned for that, so you can also get that for free. I'll go ahead and drop it. It'll be a T-800. <laughs> Some of y'all might know where to get it at, but it's free too. So, 
and we got some um, custom trailers as well. But I can't give everything away. You want it all right now. You know what I'm saying? Shoot. Just be a stingy, you know? <laughs> I was just playing. Shoot. Let's slow down a little bit. Getting on out of here. It's got to be some type of major city or something we just went through. And the drivers are cashing in right now. Go ahead, drivers. Oh, we might have a way station up here. We might just have a way station. Switch the lanes. Hold on a sec. Hold on, hold on a second, y'all. Hold on one second. Let me let me do one thing. I'll be right back. Do right. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Y'all might know that. That's that that rush hour. <laughs> Sorry, family, I am back. Your boy, laid back trucker, is back. You know what I'm saying? I was hearing some some noise, and I was like, what is that noise? It's like talking and everything. It was my daughter. <laughs> so, yeah, it was you. But anyway, we back to it. I just didn't know where it was coming from. See me. Like we're gonna see some traffic right here. Can we get by? You gonna let us by? Oh, he slowed down for us. Yeah. Might have slowed down too much because at least we probably slowed down too much because now I'm gonna have to fight the guy hauling the hay to get past him. Like we're going up this hill right quick. It's all good though. We'll get there. Let's go inside. But yeah, y'all just y'all y'all let me know in the comments like y'all live with some people that love it cold, like freezing cold in the house. Straight crazy. <laughs> like we got our speed back. Must be going look, we're going downhill a little bit. We are past that truck. We'll go ahead and throw the flashers on. Our right right hand turn signal, should I say? Check our mirror and got over. Yeah, I live with some polar bears, man. They like it cold. I I don't like it like that. So. I like that, like pleasant, you know, not like burning up, not like grandma style. You'd be in her house, it'd be 85 degrees, not like that, but shoot. 
Oh, look at the way station. Y'all are dirty. I think this is it right here, too. Yep, it is. Oh, we're not the only ones having to come in. Dude, he didn't even stop. <laughs> he didn't even stop. Looks like we're in New Mexico, though. 80, wow, we are overweight. 81 plus thousand pounds. Okay, so I do truck drive in real life, y'all. I really do truck drive in real life. So y'all gonna be seeing some of that on the channel too. Some blogs and, you know, just some ride with me trips, you know, that sort of thing. But in real life, you cannot, and I do mean you cannot, whoa, let's go ahead and hit, ooh, that was close. But you cannot just get up on the scale on the interstate and be overweight like that unless you got a permit. Because legal weight, the max weight you can be is 80,000. So, but uh, it's all good. I'm pretty sure we're overweight because of this big old long truck we got. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah, the other um, customization on this truck is you got the fender flags up there in the front fenders, and then you have the custom wheels and tires. But other than that, it's pretty much all she wrote. Go ahead and get the left lane right here. We're 200 pretty much miles away. We're almost there, y'all. This old school car looks like a leaking in front of us. Let's go inside. Mm, we got a Cadillac right there, though. Y'all ready to do this flyby? Let's go. Shoot. is is just not getting out of our way there you go i'm surprised he got over shoot appreciate that let's go ahead and get it back up to speed we out another flyby for y'all She's straight quaking. She's straight quaking. Straight getting it in. I like that. If y'all don't know, y'all better know. It's the boy, laid back trucker seven man. I'm coming back at y'all. I'm gonna finger all in the camera. <laughs> I ain't trying to bully y'all, I promise. Shoot. Oh, shoot. Got something going on up here. Oh, no. We need to stay in this lane. Oh, she, they got over there for no reason. Uh -huh. Let's see what happened. Wow, a car burnt down. My detours are up too, so you know we may not get a full run straight straight down to where we're going. We may have to detour because of stuff like that. But that just makes it more interesting, you know what I'm saying? Shoot. Christine, thank you for helping 
the Holland Mamas. Get it done. Get all over here. So I know y'all just heard me say Holland Mamas. Let me show y'all why I said that. So right here is the Holland Mamas Transport. That's our company right there. And then up top, that's myself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, my, should I say my character? <laughs> Not me. You know what I'm saying? I'm clearly a guy. Okay. But this is Lipstick Lisa. All right. That's what we named her. And she got an all-women's trucking company. And we do have a guy character, which is portrayed as myself, but we're not on that account right now. So right now, as you can see, you know what I'm saying? She got, she got some skills, man. 18 wheels of skill. You feel me? So, yeah, let's get back to it, man. Finish this load out. Yo, we almost there. We got a hundred and less than 40 to go. We're going to pull up, drop it on the ground. And we'll be getting in another one, you know what I'm saying, next time, you know. So, quick run right here for tonight. That's we already in New Mexico. We're about to be in Albuquerque in a little bit. Let's see, Swiss lanes. If y'all don't see the tour buses in here, if y'all had noticed from the last stream that I about kill y'all's eardrums with uh and myself <laughs> when i played it back to see it uh i took that bus uh mod out so that it wouldn't uh it looked like it wasn't acting correctly as if you saw the last stream you saw like the, the rear tires are kind of sticking out from the uh fender and it's not supposed to be like that so we took that out other than that, all the other mods are still in, so, and, whoa, that was, trying to get on the highway there, oh, get ready to go downhill, y'all, oh, get back over, oh, you got pulled over, Must been out here acting a fool, so no, hopefully he wasn't driving drunk, you know what I'm saying? Ha <laughs> ha Let's get up. Never drive drunk, okay? Put your seatbelt on. Shoot. For real. Let's go. All right, let's get back over. This little baby bus is going to be coming up this hill kind of slow. Man, we are straight rolling. Do a flyby. Woohoo! Yeah, man. Like in this truck, I want to pull heavy haul. That's that's what we're gonna probably do for the next stream. Heavy haul with this truck. Just want to show y'all that this big old long girl can get it done, most definitely. And don't be afraid to go holler at my my daughter. You know, Molly Molly Spokey. She does streaming and all that. You know, I'm sad. Check her out. My son, Young Skywalker. He does it too. As we get down on the ground here, look at this tanker. Ooh. He's hauling some type of chemical or something. That's an extremely long tanker on this game, but I like pulling it. 
We were just talking about that. Did that say report drunk driving? <laughs> Shoot. Oh, man. Man, we are in Albuquerque, folks. As you can see, let's go ahead and get the high beams off. Some beautiful buildings over there. We let me get these. Uh, I, I need them now. I was, <laughs> at least that one. We gotta get off right here. Once again, I'm going to go over the specs of this truck. This is a uh, DD-15 Detroit engine in here, 600 horse. And uh, look at that motorcycle. I knew it was a motorcycle right there. Kind of sound raggedy, too. But anyway. <laughs> but uh, a DD-15 Detroit engine, 600 horse. And the transmission is a 18 speed with a retarder. Yes, indeed. So she can pull heavy freight if you want to do that. Now, that would be, that's not the highest placed horsepower motor. Uh, they do offer a uh, Detroit. Uh, DD-15 that has 735 horsepower. I didn't do that. Uh, I wanted to kind of keep it close to what you would find in this truck. Especially with uh, it being a Detroit engine because they're most common in the freight liners. You do get a chance to you know get a Cummins engine if you want but there are very few uh, in numbers in real life on these freight liners it's mostly Detroit's is what you're going to find in the under the hood of a freight liner so anyway unless it's an old one you know then you could find a cat Detroit Cummins it don't really matter at that point but uh, these newer trucks these have the Detroit's in them all day long, for the most part. Oh, the light turned green for us, right? Well, man, that was that was great. So, all right, y'all, we're just nearing the end of this right here. Uh oh, race team! Oh, look, you try to pull out and make a left in front of us. We know you won't today. But look at the entrance where we got to go. Right there. Oh, my God. This is going to be fun right here, y'all. You want to see the big sleeper uh, maneuver and do all it needs to do to get a trailer in a spot? We about to get it done. With, get it on right here. This is a little narrow place. I can think I already knew that, too, because of the fact that the name of it, I was like, yeah. This is probably going to be some little grocery store. Well, we about to drop the sugar on the float for them right quick. Okay, we have to come in here. Oh, there's the dock. I can see it. Look at that, y'all. Right there. Only one dock door. They don't need two, that's for sure. Let's not hit the dumpsters. Let's get in the... That's a little throttle play for y'all. Oh. All right, so let me stop playing around. <laughs> I think I know how I'm going to do this, too. I'm going to see if it's going to work for me, what I'm thinking about. If not, I might alt this plan a little bit. Oh, that was the dude that was trying to pull out in front of us over there. All right, so... Mm -hmm. 
four way flasher zone. Drop the curve a little bit, it's okay. Alright, so I'm gonna have to come up to this wall a little bit. We didn't hit it though. Ooh, we didn't hit it. Now we should be alright. And that's how it's done. Might get some ice cream over there once we get this in this spot. You feel me? Just like that. We back in that bad way up. Look at on this side. Yeah, a little close to the edge over there, but other than that, we still inside the lines. I say we doing really good, y'all. Alright, so we got our little bit of ice cream over here. Oh my goodness, look at that, y'all. I say we did it. Before we drop the load, let me show you the inside of this truck again. So you have the custom steering wheel right there. The kind of uh, dark wood that matches the truck from the outside. Uh, it has the chrome steering wheel knob. You got the Sprite can right there that's unopened. We might pop it open if we get thirsty. It's all good. Then we got our mechanic. He's rolling with us. He's got the bill of lading over there on the clipboard, which is your BOL for short or your delivery port for our load and we have our nice CB up there hanging let's turn around which you really came to see right here look at this inside of this big enormous sleeper right here got the TV well that looks like a painting actually but I'm pretty sure it's got to be a TV back there <laughs> nice little little place to sit down eat and all that and then you know like we just got done hauling this load you know good place to relax and chill out watch tv on the couch and pass out sleep so anyway speaking of sleep that is the end of this right here We're about to be out of here man let's drop this load yeah so Fort Collins, Colorado to Albuquerque, New Mexico. That is beautiful. You see the money and all that right there. And check it out. Lipstick Lisa leading the pack for her company. She will drop it on the ground. Hauling this, uh, that load, should I say, and driving this big old truck is no problem for a Lipstick Lisa. She got it. Okay. So stay tuned, Lipstick Lisa, you know, said she coming back. She can haul some more freight with the hauling mama's transport, you know what I'm saying? And uh, as you can see over here, we got seven garages. We got 23 trucks. We got seven trailers, 23 drivers. So we, she's doing pretty good for herself, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, y'all, like, look, man. I appreciate you tuning in for reals. This is your boy, Layback Trucker 7. We out. Deuces, man. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that, shorty love. <laughs>